Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with the Income Journey. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about buying a website, a niche website that makes money from ads and affiliate income versus starting one of those websites yourself. Over the last sort of eight months or so, I have bought one website and I've also started a website from scratch. So I've had a little bit of experience in both of these avenues. And I wanted to explain for someone else who's getting started in this business, what I think is the best way to go because obviously with buying a website, if you've got some upfront cash, it may seem like a good idea to go out there and just buy something that's already making money. And also, if you don't have any money, you might be thinking, oh, if I could just save up a little bit, maybe it's better to wait and then buy a website in the future, or I could start myself. And even if you have money, is it a better way to go by investing that money in content for a website you start yourself? Well, in this video, I'm gonna explain some of the pros and cons of both and kind of show you both of my sites and how they're currently doing and what I would recommend for a beginner getting started in this space. If you guys do enjoy this video, please do go ahead, give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you're new here and let's jump in. This is gonna be a little sit down video. I haven't done one of these in a while, but first up, I wanted to talk about the pros of buying a website. It seems like an attractive option, especially if you've got some existing money from your job, savings, your business, and you wanna kind of diversify into a different avenue. Well, I bought a site from flippa.com. I'll leave the link down below in the description to a video I made on that whole process. At the time, this site was making about $150. Currently, that site is making about $250. So I have got a little bit of a return on it. I could probably flip this website for an extra three or four thousand dollars, which is nice and that's happened in about a three to four month period so not bad for a pretty passive investment i really haven't touched that website at all i've paid for probably about 20 articles to be put on the site so really not too many the only reason i really think that i increased the revenue was by increasing some conversion optimization so that's kind of my site and the situation that i got into when i bought one here are some of the pros i think of buying a website number one is the site you're buying should already be aged if you're buying a site I'd recommend buying something that is over one year old. It's at a consistent track record and it hasn't been hit massively by any Google updates. Having an age site should allow you to rank easier in the search engines because it's been around for a long time. It's more trusted by Google. You should have an easier time ranking articles, especially if the site you buy has some domain authority. You're going to have an easier time getting up there in the ranks and beating out low domain authority competitors. That's obviously a benefit of buying a site. Your website will already be cash flowing. It's already making some money. Obviously, you had to invest a lump sum up front, but after that, you're probably not going to have any months where you're not making any money. You're going to have some income coming in. This is especially interesting with niche sites because you may not be making a lot of money, like $150, $250 a month off my site may not seem like much, but I only invested about four and a half thousand dollars in that site. If you compare that to something like real estate or stocks, that return on investment is absolutely huge. So you can go out there and get some nice passive income from these sites, but you will have to do a little bit of maintenance. However, with the site that I purchased, I'd say I've spent no more than one hour per week, except for the first week that I bought the site. I'm also investing a little bit of money in content, but the money for that content just comes from any money that the website spits out. So it's really passive income. It's not very long I spend on the site at all. I barely even log into it. The only thing I do is occasionally publish articles. So it can be very passive. If you just want to buy a website for that purpose, that is fine. Another benefit of buying a website is if you can find like the fixer upper of a website, just like if you're buying a house and you can see this one that it looks terrible on the inside, but there's no real, you know, structural damage and you can spend a little bit of money to fix it up. If you can find like a website like that where there's terrible conversion opti optimization, they're not using comparison tables, they're, you know, using a horrible theme. If you can find something like that where you know that you can make some easy changes to boost conversion rates and bring in more revenue, that's an easy way to just double the value of a site and maybe make a quick flip on it. So that's really nice about buying a site. You can't do that with a brand new one. It's gonna take time to build up. So now that we know the benefits of purchases in a site, let's take a look at some of the benefits of actually starting a site from scratch. At the end of the video, I'll go and I'll do a comparison of what I think you should actually go out there and do if you're a beginner getting into this. So first up, it really allows you to learn the basics from the beginning. I started this pretty much at the start of 2021. I didn't really know much. Obviously, I have experience in e-commerce and building websites and stuff from my past, but I was pretty new to the SEO world and learning 
doing that. So building a new site from scratch allowed me to test and experiment without having to worry about wrecking something or you know messing up something's rankings. I could really learn from scratch about what was going on, what started to work, what didn't work, and that allowed me to build up my skill set probably much quicker than buying a website. I actually thought at the time buying a website would allow me to really build up a skill set. But because I didn't build it, because I didn't write them articles, I didn't really know why things were working and how I could really improve them. Whereas the site I built from scratch, I understood, oh, I did this on that article and that's why it ranked, but maybe this one didn't. Or I did this type of search analysis and that allowed me to bring in this traffic here. So by doing stuff from scratch, you really learn a lot more. And I thought like at the start of this and then when I bought a website, I thought, Oh, everyone saying this is just saying that because most people getting into this maybe have no money. And in that case, you probably should start from scratch and not like take a loan out to buy a website because you need to learn the ropes. I thought buying a site I would learn really quickly, but in fact, they were actually correct. Going out there and starting from scratch is much less risky to do and you really learn the ropes as you start building that site. The next thing is you can start in a niche that you're actually passionate about. When it comes to finding a site on websites like Flippo or Motion Invest or Empire Flippers, you're probably gonna get a little bit of shiny object syndrome. You're probably gonna see something. You really have to be patient to find something you want. The site that I bought, I really didn't care too much about that niche. I just bought it because I thought the site looked solid. It was making decent money. It was in my price range. So I thought I can buy this and make it something bigger. However, I don't care about the niche. And a lot of people say you don't need to care about the niche and you probably don't. However, if you want to get up on this and get up early in the morning before you go to work and work on your website or stay up late at night and work on your website, you probably want it to be something that you actually care about and are passionate about. When I'm working on the site I'm currently working on that I started from scratch, I actually love it. It doesn't really feel like work. I'm going out there and putting the hours in and it's something I really want to build and it feels fun to me. It really brings me back to when I was doing this in my childhood and I have fun doing that. So it's a nice little kind of side business that I'm running that doesn't feel like a business and it's building up really nicely now. So if you just jump in and buy something because you think it looks good in terms of money and traffic and whatnot, but you don't actually like the niche, you're probably much more likely to abandon that website in the future. Obviously when starting a site, there's also no upfront investment, which is nice for everyone involved. There's also no risk of copyright that you can't control, that you didn't do, you didn't make the mistake. Whereas if you buy a website from someone else, you don't really know where they've been getting them pictures, if they haven't documented it, you're new to this, you didn't even realize this was an issue, then you could maybe get stung with some sort of copyright claim on an image and have some, you know, kind of copyright troll come after you and, you know, looking two grand or three grand to take the image down uh, and not go to court you don't really want that that's not great so if you can build from scratch on your own website and know where you're getting the photos you pay for them you've got the rights to them there's much less chance of something like that happening and last but not least you can build it the way that you want you can write the articles in the formats that you like you can design it the way you want obviously you can do this as well on a site that you buy if it's in a niche you like you can go ahead and change that up change the theme make it look nice do it the way you want it but if you start from scratch, you can really build a vibe around the brand and build a community the way that you like it, the way that maybe has, I don't know if this is something that everyone wants to do, but has a little bit of a personal brand behind it. It's not something that I'd really recommend doing. I kind of start these sites because I want it to be different from my personal brand. I want it to be something that I can work on without me in it. And that's why I'm building it that specific way. But if it's something you really enjoy, you might want to build it with your face behind it. However, for me, it's really about going out there and trying to build them up right now and then either put them in, you know, with a team managing it, we're starting to build out the team a little bit now, have them manage things and move forward with it without me. But if you want to have a personal brand that way, you can also do that. So that's kind of the pros of starting both of these. But what are the negatives? When you're buying a site, there's really three main negatives that I've come across, especially when you're buying somewhere like Flippa, where there's kind of a lot of scams around. If you've never got into this, you're a beginner, you probably don't know what to look out for. There's lots of great resources out there that you can check out to learn before you buy a website what to be looking for. But as a beginner, we're probably going to miss stuff. I probably miss stuff on my site luckily so far it's kind of been okay there's not really been any issues but I was a beginner and I was taking a risk that I was missing something that I hadn't learned about yet so that's definitely a risk there and I was going in with a small investment it was under five thousand dollars to kind of get the ropes of buying a site but if you're going in there and you want to buy something at 
$30,000, $100,000, you better know exactly what you're looking for, exactly what goes on behind the scenes in these websites. Because if you miss something and you get hit with a Google update that could have easily been avoided by looking and doing your due diligence at the start of this, that's gonna save you a lot of money. So you need to make sure you know exactly what you're looking for when buying one of these sites. When you buy a site, there's also the risk of getting hit by a Google update. Google come out there, update something, your traffic gets slashed in half. Now you're making half the money and your site's worth half the money. So just something like that. Obviously, when you start from scratch, you're probably not putting much money in, maybe with content, but if you're just putting your time in, yes, you're risking your time and time is valuable, but it's no financial risk for you. You can just work on it when you can. And if it works out, brilliant. If it doesn't, you didn't really lose anything other than time. And last but not least, when it comes to buying a site again, if you don't have that experience from starting from scratch, what to look for, it's going to be harder to grow that site and push it forward. So you're maybe better starting just with a beginner site from scratch. Obviously though, there is problems with starting a site from scratch as well. The main one is it takes maybe six to eight months to really get it to take off, no matter how much content you're publishing. You can publish 300 articles in your first month, you'll probably really only start to see the benefit of them eight months later. And that time frame, that's a long time, especially for beginners getting into this that want to see quick money. And you know, it doesn't really happen that way, especially in this business. There is some business models you can go out there, start it today and start making money tomorrow. This is not one of them. So if you're not passionate, you don't have time, you're probably going to want to do something else because you'll probably give up. And that's where it maybe is better to buy a site for you. If you can see $100 $200 coming in every month, it may not be that much money, but just seeing money come in really helps to motivate you and push you forward. That could benefit buying a site instead of going out there and starting one from scratch. I think that's really the only negative there is to starting a site from scratch is obviously it's gonna take time to build up and build something that you like. But I think if you're a beginner, and in my opinion and my experience over the past eight months, I've actually, with my beginner site, now took over the revenue and traffic that the site I bought does. And I initially bought it because I wanted to have a site that was bigger. But if I had just focused all the time, not that I put that much into the site that I bought, I probably just could have put that money in and bought more content for my current site that I actually like working on. And I could have grown it bigger at this stage. However, however, it's also nice to have a little bit of diversification there. But my site that I started from scratch has now taken over it. It's probably doing double. It's probably gonna hit $500 in revenue this month, site that I started about eight months ago. And it is now worth more and does double the money and I like working on it. And this is probably the biggest thing because I think this is probably a divided opinion in the community and YouTube and people are going out there and teaching this stuff. They say, go where the money is. And yes, I think that's probably a good thing when you're really experienced, you know exactly what you're doing and you know how to hit keywords, you know how to hire teams to do this. But if you're starting this as like a side hustle, you're starting your business, do it with something that you like. That is the biggest thing. Like I could not sit down and write an article. I probably take me a whole day to get through one article on the site that I purchased, but the site I started from scratch, some days I'm pumping out four articles. It's currently the 20th of the month right now when I'm recording this, and I've done 45 articles for that site. I've pumped out tons of stuff. Now, some of them were outsourced, but I can write on that. I can do three articles a day. I can literally wake up, do three articles before lunchtime and work on my other businesses the rest of the day because I actually like it and I know what I'm talking about. When you know what you're talking about and you understand the niche, you've had experience in it, it's so much easier to sit down and write it without having to go out there and really research and learn stuff from scratch. That can be very annoying, it can be tedious, it makes it boring. But if you know everything up in your head about the niche that you're in, you just write it down, it takes 45 minutes to do a thousand words, type that shit out, go ahead and push forward and you can really get some momentum going on your site. If you're actually actively in the niche as well, you're gonna see stuff that other people wouldn't who aren't in that niche. My best performing article right now is getting 140 clicks per day. And it's just specifically around a problem I was having with a product that I had purchased. It was a problem that I had that I knew other people probably have this. And if I wasn't in that niche, I never would have found that article. You never would have found this article through doing keyword research. It's not something you're going to find, but because this was a new product that came out, I was having the problem. There's not 130 people clicking on that article every day who's having the same problem as me. The video on YouTube I put up has over 12,000 views now for that specific problem. And again, I wouldn't have found that if I wasn't in the niche. So if you're in a niche, you're writing about it, you've built a site around it and you don't know anything about it, it's gonna be much, much harder to actually go out there and find these niche articles that are underserved. And also when it comes to the 
taking longer to get traffic. I think that's probably something that definitely happens and it's hard, it takes time, especially in more YMYL niches, it's gonna be hard to rank for it. But I find that if I find an article that is underserved and doesn't have anyone else answering the question, if I go out there and write an article on it, it ranks pretty much instantly. So really doing your keyword research right, you can snowball and really quickly grow a site from scratch by going out there and doing the correct keyword research. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a sit down and kind of just talking through stuff, but I kind of wanted to sit down and talk about the buying process versus starting from scratch because I've had a fun experience doing both. But as a beginner, I actually think it's now better to go out there and maybe just start a site from scratch if you don't know anything about this world and building these sites because you're going to learn a lot more you can grow relatively quickly if you put in the effort and i think the biggest thing you're going to be motivated to work on it and that's really the main thing if you're just turning up consistently every day it's eventually going to grow you're eventually going to make some nice money with it so again if you enjoyed this video make sure and hit that thumbs up button hit subscribe if you're new here and also i'll leave a video down below on you know how i actually went ahead and bought that site if that's something you want to learn more about i'll go through the process in that video of how i bought a site from flippa and i'll also leave the playlist down below of all of my income reports for the last six seven maybe eight months now probably seven months on the websites that have been building from scratch. It includes everything in there. You can see everything that's currently going on with my sites. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Check out them videos. Chat soon.